So it's really important to understand and to, and to know and be mindful of what actually does come up in those situations, right? Sometimes you might get angry, uh, anxiety may arise, some type of discomfort may arise, you may get you know, com completely overwhelmed uh, with thought or something like that, you may have physical sensations that arise. These are all things that we wanna practice being mindful of so that we can manage them better in the moment uh, when we're working with young people. Um, in talking about self-management, right? Like something may arise, something comes up, you get triggered, you get angry, you get activated in some way, right? It doesn't mean that, I'm, I'm not suggesting that you should be calm and monotone the whole way through. Uh, that's just not feasible. With, with a lot of experience, you'll get better at managing yourself in the moment in tense situations, just like anything else. Practice makes you better. Um, but what I'm what what the key is is to make it so that it's tolerable, so that you can still make uh, informed, skillful decisions, right? And so that comes with managing ourselves in the moment. But it doesn't mean that we're some perfect angel that never gets mad or something like that, right? So I want to be really clear about that. Um, the other thing about um, self management is. This is kind of like the applied version of that bottom layer of the pyramid. So if you remember, the bottom layer of the pyramid was the paradigm, right? Like how we view resistance. What is resistance? Is resistance a form of protection? And if it is, in that case, I can take all this disruption or resistance less personally. The less I make it about myself, the more there's a chance that I'll be able to be skillful in the moment with a young person, right? You would hear me say it so many times. I always say less ego, more skillfulness. That's what all of this work comes down to. 